recently someone asked me what is the best way to start an opening chapter or the beginning scene or the beginning of a story and the first thing I thought of the, the scene should be unusual it should be out of the ordinary the unexpected and it depends on what kind of story you're telling if you're telling an adventure story the scene should be shocking like a car accident on the side of the road it should be something that will make the reader want to stop and and look if if it's a romance it should be a scene of course the reader is going to be a stranger to the romantic scene being depicted but it would be a woman running out of a restaurant with a bunch of flowers running crying throwing the flowers down on the side of the road as she runs or something like that something that is intriguing and the opening scene the reader does not need to understand it completely if if it if it if it leads the reader to wonder then it's implied that the rest of the story will explain the situation that just happened. The, the opening scene's very effective if it's something the reader or viewer has never seen before. The characters involved, if they are doing something that it's obvious they're taken out of their ordinary lives while this scene is happening, that, that is very effective. One thing a lot of storytellers do is they'll show a scene from towards the end of the story or the climactic scene or or the after effects scene, they'll put that right at the beginning and it's full of mystery, meaning the reader has no way of understanding who who's involved. They just understand that there's some climactic, volatile situation going on or, or something that will involve a great change to someone's life or you know, something that has implications of the world changing. Taking the very end of a story and showing it at the beginning is great because it's exciting and subconsciously viewers today aren't thrown off by this. They understand this is storytelling convention of, of the, the late 1900s and early 2000s that that they automatically understand this is something, this is a later scene, and we're not supposed to understand what is happening, that, that if we continue to watch, it will all be revealed to us. You can start off with a great deal of excitement. Usually stories start off, a lot of stories, good stories can start off kind of slow because a story is basically a chain of, of events and the real exciting ones haven't happened yet. We need to bring the reader into the lives of the characters involved. We need to show the readers all the different situations and circumstances necessary to the story. Is it a place of work? Is it a ship out on the sea? That sort of thing. And this can this can be the slowest part of the story. Now you don't have to start off a story shooting off fireworks. If if it's something that just gives the reader pause and you can do this subtly or you can it can be something where it it is like fireworks. You don't need to avoid having the opening scene explosive and whatnot. But just as subtle as a character wearing a suit walking along a highway along the side of a cliffside, the reader will automatically 
realize this is not an ordinary situation. This this character is not in their element. They are somehow lost. They are somehow far removed from the situations they ordinarily operate in. And this is intriguing to people because it's what people do is they the way a bird sets up a nest people set up their their lives the the places they go to the roles they play in those places and this becomes like an enclosed system and there is always the great mystery waiting beyond that and and subconsciously we're all aware that there is this greater life wait, waiting outside of our our ordinary routines and it can be frightening exciting to us and so stories often show characters that are taken out of their ordinary routine and they don't need to be taken from a city and put on the face of the moon they can simply be in a cafe at night when ordinarily they always go to sleep at 10 and always w wake up early in the morning. An exercise you can do in your journal is start to keep track on a daily basis situations you see that are out of the ordinary and try to develop an eye for this where it could involve all the factors that, that make up things you normally see but it could be something that that anything that that alerts your attention and gets you to notice and that seems unique that seems it it, it could be something that you just don't hear every day or something that makes you wonder why why did they say that or why did they do that and keep in mind that this all has to do with the idea that, that as ordinary life builders, like birds being nest builders, we have this awareness of things that are out of the ordinary. And to us, they feel mysterious. They feel like they come from that region outside of what we set up and reinforce as our ordinary lives. And in that way, they feel a little bit magical, a little bit startling. They get our attention. They usually cause us to figure it out like it is a riddle. And the the real fun begins when as writers we we develop a mindset for looking into these things and can create new scenes that are just subtly out of the ordinary and yet enough to get our attention, to wake us up. They're a little bit like riddles. They make us wonder. Filmmakers have a great time with this sort of thing. Fellini was a master of the mystery beyond the ordinary. In my recent correspondence, um, I was asked, well, if, if a character is walking along a roadside, walking away from someone or something that just happened, is this a good opening scene? And I said, yes, as long as it's somehow unordinary. So a fil one thing a filmmaker might do would be have that character walking in a factory part of town at the change of shift when dozens of people all wearing the same blue coveralls are walking by and our protagonist is wearing a suit or or something that lets us know that they are not where they ordinarily would be found it does not take much to make an opening scene seem unusual, bizarre, out of the ordinary. It, it could be one or two minor details that lets those detectives, our readers, know that this is, this is an unordinary circumstance. Think of it as an improv challenge. Brainstorm, try to come up with ways 
that you can make that scene seem more startling, more exciting. Try to forget about the rest of the story and think about just that scene and try to come up with just one scene for its own sake. Come up with a scene that will catch your readers off guard. As an exercise, taking from the notes you have put in your journal about unusual situations you run across in life, things you overhear that give you pause, situations you see that, that puzzle you, they're, they're, they're things that you don't immediately understand what is going on. Working from those journal entries, improvise as an exercise. You can come up with one or two similar but original, never before written s scenes that are meant to puzzle the reader. And for these exercises, you don't need to write a whole story. You're just you're just writing a scene just for the pleasure of one scene a think of it like a photograph except it or like a you know the app vine where it's a six second video think of it as you you know as storytellers it it can be helpful to not always work on writing a whole story but realize each story is made up of scenes that are that are potentially wonderful works of art on their own in their own right. I hope this was helpful. Again, this is not the definitive on how to write. These are you do not have to start your stories this way. You do not have you definitely don't have to start all your stories this way. It's just one strategy used a lot and uh, to, to good effect. If you like my videos and want to get me back, please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, tell a friend. You can Twitter or Google Plus. One of my videos is, is a great way to help me out. Please take the time to go check out my very strange narrated illustrated in episode form story at sillimation.com called Terrible Immunity. I hope that you have a great time exploring your world as a writer and, and using it as a way to keep the, the pleasure of, of the experience of, of life itself fresh and, and exciting. I hope you're writing goes great and have a good day. Always exceptions. A good example of why this strategy would not work and why in fact the opposite strategy would work would be in the comedy, uh, a workplace comedy. So the opening scene would be a situation of such drudgery, repetitive workplace non-unusualness that that you know to an extreme level where the opposite of unique and surprising is part of every detail of the scene